What up guys, Paradox back with more tech support. We're here today to go over removal of a 1994 to 2004 Mustang steering wheel column, the whole thing, we're taking all this out, not just the fucking steering wheel itself. So, this is how we get down to it. You're gonna need, of course, a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna need a size seven, a size eight, and a size 10 millimeter um, ratchets. Uh, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter deep socket. Uh, as well as you're going to need a T15 Torx wrench. So um, that's to remove the shifter from the top of it. Um, so we're just going to get right down to this. Um, what you're going to need to do is you got to remove this plate first. Your kick. You remove that by hand underneath this corner. Pull it forward. Comes right off. Put a hand right here. Just pop it down comes right off. I call these the weight reduction panels because you can remove these without the uh, uh, fascia being affected at all. You're going to have one bolt hole right here. You have a bolt hole right here. That's weight reduction plate number one. Take that fresh, throw it in the fucking garbage. This is gonna be weight reduction plate number two. Um, is this crossbar right here? There's gonna be a bolt right here, and one right here. They're eight millimeters. Remove that guy. Remove that guy. Take that fresh. Throw it in fucking garbage. Alright. So, now that you're down to just your steering column and all the craziness up in here. The very first thing you gotta do is you gotta remove the bolt at the base of the steering column. It's gonna be right here. When you release this bolt, what it does is it makes it so that you can actually pull the steering column off of the lower half of the steering column. So after that, you're going to have these three connectors right here. One. Two, three. Then once those are disconnected, you're gonna have your seven millimeter. On this. Right here. And then once that's free, you're looking at just your four main bolts. I don't know if you can see that one, two, Three, four. Size so 13 millimeter.
that, you drop the wheel. So, that's the fun part. I'm going to break out the T15 Torx. For this part. So now that the steering wheel is dropped, you don't have to have your fascia taken off. I just have mine off because I was fucking with my cluster. Um, so the wheel just kind of shims down after that, and you're able to actually access the top. Um, and then. Uh, from right here, you're gonna wanna take that T15 and get rid of this one. And this one. Good old Ford putting one inch screws where they don't only need a quarter inch, especially when it's in a hard place to get that shit out. This one isn't that bad. But with that, you remove this cable. So you're able to pull it up over that sheathing, kind of set it off to the side. And then you're going to have this wiring connector, this big one. Press that in. setting this down to press that in. Come on, fucker. And with that, I believe this should just pull right out. Yep, and there's your steering column. Now the big thing is, is when you take this out, the one thing you absolutely don't want to do is have for any reason battery to that. Because you pull in that, that plug out right there, that's where the pats goes through and all that shit. So that's how you remove your steering column. If you ever need to get in there, you repeat the process to put it back in. You know, you guys can get rid of a couple plates for weight reduction. And that's how you remove your steering column. Thanks for tuning in, guys.